What's up everyone, I'm Steven here with Tiny House Listings and today I'm in front of a just recently finished 12 foot tote which is built by Tiny House Listings. So I just wanna quickly take you on the exterior and let me know what you think. All right, so this house is 12 feet long, eight and almost a half feet wide. And it has, as you can see on the front, some really cool German siding, which I personally love. And if you see all the red accents, those are all LP, um, which is, um, is a lap siding, but it's like a 50 year product. So it's a really, really amazing product. If actually, if you come a little bit closer, I'll show you. Very, very nice product. The roof is um, 29 gauge steel, metal roof. And if you see a really cool feature that we thought was pretty amazing, that we actually take a cold water and hot water shower. So what you do is you just get a wide air. We can provide that for you if you want. And in the water hose, you either have hot or cold water. And this really, really comes in handy if you, uh, let's say if you have dirty feet, you've been on the beach all day, if you just got by hiking, you have boots that you want to spray off, something like that, you can have a hot water shower, or if you just want to take a hot or hot shower outside, this is a really cool, amazing thing. So if you come across on the back side is LP Sheet, really cool product. And we actually had someone come to our warehouse and they saw this tiny house color, and we they wanted us to actually paint their tiny house based on the color of this. So I thought it was pretty cool. So I think we picked it up here. Um, if you look down here, these are RV axles. These are 7,000 pound axles. Just to give you an idea, this tiny house weighs about 3,500 pounds. So you have way, way more weight than you could ever need um, to spare for this. This is your black water, gray water pipe down here, three inch. So the way that works is anywhere you go, you hook up a regular flexible RV style hose, hook it to wherever you want it to go. And all your uh, black water and gray water will just be flushed out of there. And then if you just come right back here a little bit farther, jacks on each side this is really really good for when you're, when you're on the go you can level up your sides make everything secure good to go underneath here we put we have our water hookup there's my dog piper <laughs> hey buddy um you have your either you have your water hose hookup which is a standard water hose so if you're on the go no problem and there's a 50 amp plug in here so anywhere you go you have plenty of power all right so if you go on the back side check this out on the back side here we have a 9000 b2 mini split hot and cold so it doesn't matter where you go anywhere in the continental united states actually probably anywhere in canada as well this is more than enough this is rated for 450 square feet so just to give you an idea this is an eight and a half by nine by 12. so you have more and more power to, to spare on the back right here amazing as long as you have uh actually fresh water you can do um on demand so you can take a thousand gallon hot water shower no problem this is propane this is propane so if you come over here on this side Again, this is just the exterior. At a later date, we'll give you an interior tour. Um, you have a 180 degree view. So if you're in the living area, if you're in the bedroom area, you'll see from this window and the front window, you can see out 180 degrees, which is really cool. Uh, so if you come here real front, real quick in the front, this is actually a garden <clears throat> hookup. We're required by code to have this in there, but it's, we I agree with it. It's a really nice feature. So you're gonna hook up your garden hose, spray your water, whatever. If you don't feel like uh, messing with the hot water, which is on the other side on the front this actually holds your propane we don't have a propane tank in there but you literally just take a grill style um, propane tank and that can heat all the hot water you want and also you can cook on it so you stick it in there close it no problem gfi outlet um, and so if you come to the front right here you can see we have stairs that fold down i won't do it right now but it's very easy to get in and out you can step up there come up to the front porch 32 uh, inch entry door uh, just a regular house. So the next video will actually show you the inside. Thanks for watching. All right, so what's the next day? Yesterday we ran out of light. So we're here uh, showing the 12 foot tote again today. Yesterday we showed you the exterior. So now we're gonna walk on in and I'll show you the interior. All right, so when you come in, you can, first thing you notice is that the walls are wood. Uh, this is one half inch uh, cabinet grade plywood and has nickel gap seams all throughout. This is the same type of material that we use in our lab model, uh, but on this one we decided to keep it raw, keep it, make it feel like more like a cap on wheels. Uh, but if you turn your attention here to the side of here when you first walk in, you'll notice you have a desk here. You could also sit here and eat easily. Um, so you could plug your computer in. You've got your um, outlet right there, and also you have a gas uh, detector. So because this uh, does use gas to cook with, and uh, if you look at this, it has a lot of built-in storage, especially to be only 12 feet. But this one you could. The idea is to hang your clothes here, right? So you can easily put your clothes here, put all kinds of knickknacks, clothes up here, folded, towels, whatever it is you want to do. Uh, and as you move over into the kitchen area, you, it's the same thing. You have a lot of built-in stores that we custom built these. And here's the mini split. So this entire house runs off a of 50 amp. Uh, so this mini split's rated for 450 square feet. So obviously 
more than enough. Um, and it also has a two burner gas cooktop. Then you have a dorm style fridge beneath, uh, stainless steel sink. You look at the GFI outlets, you have uh, four outlets all together just in this kitchen, two of which are GFI. Uh, lots and lots of storage here. Beneath you have storage. Um, then if you turn your attention over here to this side, we just have the stage just for a futon. Um, but you could put a bed here. You could do a custom slide out bed if you wanted. Uh, but this right here is the size basically of a twin bed. And then at night you can slide this out and it can go past into the living area if you want to sleep two people, no problem. Uh, there's also, the, this isn't hooked up to electric, but uh, there's a light here for reading. So if you're sitting here on your couch or your bed whatnot, you can turn that on easily. And I'll let you come in here because uh, it's not very big. Uh, there's a flush toilet. We could put a compost toilet in there for you if you want. That's a um, humidistat. This runs off, of, uh, that gets rid of all the humidity in here. We have a standard 32 inch shower. And so it's a lot that goes into this very small, compact 12 foot. Um, if you go down really quick, you'll notice we have very high quality LVP flooring, waterproof. That's about the best stuff you can get. Um, but the whole idea of this tiny house is, for the most part, meant to be a camper uh, that you can travel around from time to time. Uh, one good example would be if you're a traveling nurse and you go from place to place and you get a per diem, like for rent, but you could take this with you and pocket all that money and keep it. If you're a traveling photographer, uh, we recommend a V8 truck or SUV to tow this tiny house because it is, even though it's, only, it's very small and it's not even that heavy at 3,500 pounds, it is not very aerodynamic and that's the case with most tiny homes. Uh, but yeah, we tow this with my older Tundra and it has no problem. Uh, but yeah, that's all. And so if you're interested, you can go to tinyhouselistings.build or email us at build at tinyhouselistings.com. Uh, and this, this tiny house is actually built and available. So click the link in the description below and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.